YouTube, <coughs> excuse me, hello YouTube, this is Dr. Dan to be creative. How you guys doing today? Um, I am coming up here on my video, I guess, could be late, you could say, because yesterday was supposed to be the Julie Nutting collab. <laughs> I totally forgot it was the first of the month and I have it on my calendar, so I didn't post, but you may have also heard that the, um, the collab, the hostess who organized this decided to end it, you know, life happens, things go on, and people needed to end the collab, so they wanted to end the collab. Um, and so, um, I didn't get to post my video yesterday, but anyway, so I'm posting my video today. But I'm not ending mine, because, you know, if you watch my channel, and if you've seen me for the last few years, you know I love JN dolls. And, um, I have a ton of them, so I'm going to continue to uh, work on my Julie Nutty dolls, and I'm going to continue to fin finish my album, which I'm almost there. I'm almost there, just got a few more to go, so I'm excited. So, I will be continuing to post. Um, my videos and my creations using my Julie Nutty dolls and my other Prima doll stamps because I love paper play, paper piecing. So I um, just wanted to come in and just make sure everybody knew about that and um, they're aware of that. But I will still be having a challenge, um, a giveaway on my challenge. It'll probably be the end of the year once I finish this album and I, I announce it on that particular video which one it is and um, I give like you know some time and then I'll let everybody know what I'll be doing on that one. So that's to come but I will be having a giveaway but anyway so I just want to show you the project that I did make <coughs> just, and I just want to clarify that just in case you're wondering where um, those videos were at you didn't see them yesterday so I'll show you the products that I used I used my mixed media paper so obviously you know it's going to be a layout page I think this is my fave I used this olive guide to make um, one of the items I used this paper and it is a napkin layout. So I used this one. This one was gifted to me by one of my girls and um, my scrapbook crew. I used this one and I used this one. And both of these came from Ollie. And I think that's I think that's all my napkins that I used. Yeah, those three napkins. So I was excited to use more than one napkin um, in my project. And then I also used. <clears throat> Excuse me, Emma Lou. So, um, you will see her in there as well. So, of course, I color her with my Spectrum the Wall markers. And then I paper pieced her. And um, I used some of her accessories to use in that same um, Happy Days 6x6 paper pad. And so, here is what I created. I just absolutely think it turned out so pretty. So, what did I do? So, oh, I forgot one other stamp. Hold on. So, as I, I'm looking at this now, as I ran and grabbed this stamp, this is not the right Heidi Swap stamp. But anyway, it's a Heidi Swap stamp just like this. And I probably moved it. Anyway, so it's a background stamp. So what I did first <coughs> was I stamped in the background, as you can see, those musical notes and stuff in the background. So I did the whole entire page like that. I took the backing off of... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. My throat. I took the backing off of this because you know most of the napkins are three ply. So I took one of the layers, the white layer, and I covered it up um, using my matte medium over top of the um, stamped um, images. And then what I did was I just drew some lines, I made some floors, make a little bit hardwood floors, and then I um, colored it actually with Spectrum War markers. And then I used my matte medium over top of it. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. And of course, I fussy cut um, the table and the flower and the chair out, and um, I cut out this little blue circle to be a light, and then I just um, drew it all with my markers up there and just sponged around it. I cut out this butterfly, and I knew <coughs> I needed to make a diagonal so it could look like the wall that's coming in. And I just made them rectangle shapes and just put some gold around it, and gold paint around it, and then I just highlighted around it with um, my Spectrum War marker. <coughs> Excuse me. And then um, I stamped it with her Emma Lou stamp that says play and dress up in the background. I used that eyelet die, the oval shaped eyelet die, to cut that piece of paper to make it look like a full rug. And then um, with the the um, desk and, and not the desk, the um, 
vanity whew, and the chair I used um, one of my watercolor pencils and I just went around it and then I used my watercolor brush to um, just you know make the lines a little darker because as you can see it's very faint and pale up there but I wanted it to pop a little bit more so I went around it and did that just to give it a little bit more detail and then of course I went around it with my um actually I think I used my pit pen on that one around it to make it a little bit more darker a little bit more darker watch my grandma anyway to make it darker <laughs> um, so that it would pop a little bit more and I just added all her little elements and stuff as well and I did the same thing with all of those and did some shadowing in or any coloring in on her, her clothes and her doll and stuff just to make it pop um, and what else I'm going to say? I'll show you. This is the same one that I used for the tag right here that I showed last month. So that's the same um, background. And that was my inspiration from that. <clears throat> but I wanted to make it darker. After I made that tag, I was like, oh, I'm going to make a layout doing that. But I think it came out absolutely beautiful. And then I just went around the edges um, <clears throat> with, um, I think I used my... A black marker I think yeah I don't think I use paint but anyway so that is what I did I just created a full room and I just think the detail and the shadowing on it and using those napkins just gave me um, some nice elements that I didn't have to drop and since I had those napkins I wanted to go ahead and use those images um, I mean I could have printed it out or colored it out or cut it out and something else but I just thought it was fun when I saw that pack of, pack of napkins I knew I was gonna make a JN layout with that that was my whole thing when I saw it I said yes I can use that with my stamps. So that's what I did. And like I said, this is just another fun way to use your napkins to frame them. Like it's a frame in the picture as a backdrop. Um, even cutting out small elements like that and then altering it to make it look like a lamp. So, <clears throat> and of course, my little marker bled right there because it wasn't fully dry when I put it up there, but that's okay. Um, I still love it. I just think it's so stinking cute. I think that's one of my favorite pages I made. And I put a lot of work in it and cutting everything out, plus the cutting in and making it detailed and stuff. So, yeah, I am super excited about that. I will have some close-up images on my Instagram page, Dare to Be Creative One, and you can check out those pictures as well. So, uh, anyway, stay tuned. Continue to watch my Julie Netting um, layouts and pages, <clears throat> and I will be doing an art journal with um, my napkins, which will have some a different one which will have um, some Julie Nettings and some Prima and some other type of dolls it won't just be Julie Nettings but it will be a mixture and when I finish with this one I may do another I don't know but we'll see but anyway so um, I will continue to make some projects and um, like I said I will have a giveaway on my channel um, for that later on in the year so anyway thanks for liking watching and subscribing and I dare you to be creative take care and God bless <coughs>